Good morning, everybody. Today is October 22nd. It is 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. And we're going to go check out Mr. Pierre. I'm here hanging out with Pierre. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are driving a new 2021 Chevy Bolt. Bolt. I knew B. that. With a B, not a V. B, that's important. And it's how much did you EV. how much did you spend in gas this month, babe? Uh, forty dollars on your car. <laughs> <laughs> he spent forty dollars on my car. This car could go up to how many miles? Uh, two hundred fifty nine, max three hundred five, somewhere in that range. So yeah, so this will be a good car. Like I told you guys, if I if you want to do Amazon, I would suggest you guys get an electric vehicle because the gas prices are high and they keep going higher and you would just be wasting your money putting it back in your tank to be doing uber lyft um doordash all those driving jobs with if you don't have an electric car now if you already have a car keep your car but if you're about to get a new car i would definitely recommend to get an electric car because i'm jealous of pierre because <laughs> i spent 50 dollars putting in my tank to fill it up and he doesn't pay for he doesn't pay for gas <laughs> but if you mm -hmm. like charge at a charge station it's like paying four dollars for five dollars you know if you like do the 25 miles per hour charge so it's like get 75 miles a gallon roughly out of an electric vehicle if you can find places to charge for free then of course it's, it's free so you got that that perk but yeah, definitely get an electric vehicle to deliver it. Okay. So what is this showing? This is showing the flow. So right That's now it's regenerating. So, uh... so it's sending power from the motor back into the battery. That's why it's flowing back the other direction. Then we stop not using no power, which shows you up here in your Okay, yeah, so you see a kilowatt. So when you give it gas, it go down, which is negative. So we use a seven, eight, you know, kilowatts an hour. I've got a kilowatt battery this is, but essentially that's how far you could drive at that rate of, of let's say you had 100 kilowatts and you was doing five kilowatts, then you should be able to drive for 20 hours, you know, before you reach 100 kilowatts. So that's how you basically compute that. This one got one pedal driver, so we in L mode, which is the L. So, um, so when I let off the gas, it automatically regens and breaks the car. So, so I, wait, so you, are you using your brake right now or not? Yeah. Okay, so you're not using your brake. So show them how you drive the car without using your brake. I just do one pedal. You could do two things. You got a paddle up here to brake the car on the back of the steering wheel, or you can just let off the, off the electric. I shouldn't say gas, well yeah, you let off the pedal. And it automatically automatically regenerates electricity and that causes a braking action on the electric motor. Oh, so if you let off the gas, it's gonna break. Yeah, in low mode. Now if you put it in regular drive mode, then it's less aggressive. It still breaks, but it's like a regular car coasting to a stop, so okay. to speak. I like it because I don't ever touch the brakes and I preserve my brakes. So I shouldn't need brake pads that often. And you but, don't have all the dirt on your front wheel? Yeah, and my wheels stay clean. No brake dust. Whoa. So, that was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that worked. Like, we coming to a stop now, I'm not gonna touch the brake. Oh, I let off too early. I didn't even make it to the stop sign. So, that's how, how it breaks. And uh, yeah. So, use that when you're in the city and when you're on the highway, you drive at normal time. Normal drive, drive. Now we made it to where we come to get lunch at. At this food cart here. It's our favorite spot to go to. Yeah, get you a gyro. A gyro. A gyro. <laughs> a gyro. A hero. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, and we ain't used much power to do that. Is there anything else you want people to know about? The Chevy, Chevy Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, man. You can stretch it out. You know, you could go from Philly to New York and back with no problem. Uh, let's see. What do you think about those cars that are half gas and half um, 
electric that well, go like 30 miles. Right, if you got to commute that's 30 miles or less, then you could essentially drive on a battery on one of those, and then when you're ready to go long distance, you just use a gas motor to drive it. Now, some of them may have uh, like the Chevy Volt with the V. That still run off an of AC motor, so even though it got a gas engine, that just provides AC like a generator to the electric motor in the event that you run out of battery power. But some hybrids just got gasoline engines, small ones that run the car, you know, when you run out of battery power. So, not all of them are the same, um, but either way, you know, I guess it's better to have some rather than nothing. Uh, with the hybrid, whether the AC or regular motor. So yeah, you can't go wrong with that either, I guess. Um, you get range anxiety, wondering if you can make it. Some of you gotta get used to, learn. You start learning your vehicle. Sorry guys, our camera, my camera ran out of uh, memory space. So um, we just got our food. He already started eating his because he couldn't wait because he's hungry. Not really, you ate just before you left. We just got it from the, um, what type of cart is that? Uh, the food cart. The food cart. So he got, got he got lamb, rice, and a salad. And you gotta have the white sauce. You can't eat without the white sauce, right? And then I got chicken, I got rice, and I got salad. They ran, we got some, um, Pepsi. Yeah. Cause they ran out ginger ale. And a salad. Right. Thank God. You gotta finish telling people about the Chevy Bolt in the winter time so I can finish my video. Oh, well, I haven't really learned about it yet. But from talking to other people at the charging stations, uh, mostly people with Teslas, they say the battery range decreases in the winter time when it's cold. In a cold climate. So they say your range go down. Pretty significant, you know. I'm thinking 40% probably, which is a huge number. I'm not sure that is. I had to update y'all on that one. But we'll see. So that'd be like me getting 120, maybe 140 miles out of a 100, 260 mile charge, you know. You got a huge tax break, right? I'm getting an um, electric car. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if that's still in the effect. Right. But they might If you got it by June, so in 2021, then it was good. But in 2022, they should have a um, tax break, right? Maybe. No. If the government passed laws for it, then they'd do it. But, so yeah, try to get a tax break. I would go with the BMW i3. Yeah, that was a little nice too. And it went a little higher mileage than yours, right? Uh, no, that one got a little less. Uh, but it's a little cheaper. I mean, you can find them used for a good price. You want some cheesy ones? Mm -mm, I don't know about that. Here, try one. That almost fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think that's all about the electric car. I do think it's a great car, great investment. I get jealous, like I said, because I always have to get gas. And spending. I'm rolling past some gas stations. I'm spending $50 on gas, and I'm always thinking I told them in the car, oh, let me tell Pierre about this gas station. And because it has cheap gas, and I forget that he don't need gas anymore. <laughs> so, Please, please like, like, comment, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Say please give, give this this video, video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye.